Hey everyone, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I have a tutorial for the Envelope Builder die set from KS Craft. It is from their August release. It comes in two different sizes that are available separately. I'll link them down below in case you are interested on their AliExpress store. Um, I did show them in a, a project share video, which I'll also link down below. And I offered to do a tutorial just because explaining how to put it together I, I thought it was a little bit difficult to picture and a few of you said that was a good idea. So here is my uh, tutorial video. And one of my viewers who is Diana 90 Twins 34, hi Diana, she requested that I do a tutorial for an A2 size card envelope and I thought that was a great idea. So that's what we're gonna do today. A few people were concerned because when I uh, demonstrated the tear strip, it didn't really tear evenly. So I'm gonna address that as well. So let's get started. All right, so the two sizes that this die set comes in is a five inch one and a four inch one. So an A2 size card is four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. So we're going to go ahead and use the five inch set. So it comes with these two pieces. This is the top part of the envelope and that cuts out the tear strip. And this is the bottom part of the envelope. Well, of the envelope builder. You, you construct the envelope yourself. So we are going to do that together. And I got out a few of my Christmassy A2 cards that I made um, in years past in these pretty colors. So I thought we'd make an envelope to go with one of these. So these are all A2 size cards. And I got out a uh, piece of paper that I thought would look nice for an envelope for one of those cards. And then some paper for the tear strips as well. I'm going to try the tear strips in thinner paper because the first time I did the project, I used thicker paper. So I'm wondering if that's the reason why the tear strip didn't work out well. This is an older pad from Joann's and this is pretty thin paper. It is embossed, but um, it's thinner than, you know, like double sided cardstock. So I'm going to use that for the for the pieces you cut out with the die. So I cut those out to save time one this is the bottom piece and then this is the top piece so have those cut out now if you're making an a2 envelope you're going to cut a piece of paper this size and this is ten and a half ten and a half inches across by approximately six inches top to bottom the an a2 size card is five and a half inches so um, this leaves a little bit of leeway on the inside of your envelope especially if the card you're using has uh, some embellishments on it you want to give make the envelope a teeny bit bigger than the card itself so ten and a half by six and then um, you'll need a scoreboard too so we're gonna get that out but let's do a little tear strip demo first okay so I cut it out of the smaller um, die a few different samples so this is the paper I think that I used last time a double-sided piece of paper and then this is one of the one of the thinner papers so we're going to test it out but first I want to show you I cut it out of a thinner paper from this paper pad and I tried it out and it worked fine. And what I did was before I tore it out, I bent it on all of the score lines. So it would be this kind of paper right here. So I bent it on the, the fold line and then also on the tear strip line. So I'm gonna do that now to both of these papers and we'll test them out, okay? So I think that will help to reinforce where it tears. You probably don't need it for the thin, thinner paper, but why not, right? Okay, so those are bent. And then let's do it on the thicker paper as well. Might as well do the fold line too, but because you could do this ahead of time and then glue it onto your project and it'll be fine. It'll still be flat on your project, but it'll, you know, make it easier for the recipient to tear. All right, so let me show you how it works for the thinner paper. Okay, so I zoomed in. I'm just gonna crease this a little bit more to make sure it tears okay, both ways, front and back. Okay, so the recipient would have this on the back of the envelope, right? And then they would take one end of the tear strip and this will be glued down. So they will just peel it back. 
And as you can see, it tears pretty evenly. And then that'll separate your um, the two parts so your envelope will be open. Let's try it with the, with the thicker piece of paper. I bent it pretty good there. All right, so it will look like this. We'll take the tear strip, hold it down both sides. All right, yeah, that still didn't work that well. So I would definitely recommend to use thinner paper for the, for the um, tear strip part, okay? You can use whatever paper you want for the bottom, but if you want them to match, you know, cut it out of the bottom and the top piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this thinner paper. I am gonna crease it. You can use a bone folder if you want. You don't really need to for this, but I'm gonna go ahead and crease it a bunch of times, especially on the tear strip. So I think that, uh, that'll work out well. So crease it, use thinnest paper you can, and you'll be fine. All right, so we've got that done. Let's move on to building the envelope. So I've got my scoreboard here. This is an EK Tools one. And here's my paper. So I'm gonna turn it over onto the other side of the paper. This is cute too. This actually, this is from my friend Sue. She sent me some happy mail once, a whole bunch of paper. This is from you. So thank you, Sue. Okay, so you have your 10 and a half inch length this way. So go ahead and score it at two and three quarters. And I cannot see where that is right now. There's two, I think that's two and three quarters. Okay, so score, score it there and then turn it around and score it there again. So when you fold it, it'll look like this. So it'll be five, um, five inches width. Let me get my ruler out to show you. Okay, sorry about that. I had to stop the video for a second. But anyway, it'll be um, five inches by six. And that is a great size for your envelope. And see how these um, ends overlap because you made those sides a little bit longer than the, um, than the five inch side. So that's how you make your envelope, two and three quarters, two and three quarters, five inches at the back. All right, now we're gonna um, glue this part together. If you want to, you can go ahead and stitch this before you glue it together, just to add some decoration. Um, I'm just gonna glue it for now. It doesn't really matter what side goes over what. So let me get out my glue, and I'm just gonna use my Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive because it dries really quickly and just put a little bit over one of the ends. Okay, put my pin back into my glue so it doesn't clog too much more. Okay, and then just press those two ends together at the overlap. So now you have like this kind of tube for your envelope. All right, and now we'll get our tops and bottoms. This part is so easy to do. Just for the top part, you have to remember not to glue some parts, and I'll show you in a second. First, we'll do the bottom. So we already folded this, so we're gonna, um, I like to make this the back of the envelope, the part that's a seam, and this will be the front, which has the uh, tear strip, but you could do it any way you want. This is just the way I like to do it. So I'm gonna glue this on. This one, I think I'll use my beacon glue just because it covers a bigger area. So this is Beacon 3-in-1. Use whatever adhesive you like. You could use hot glue. You can use your, your double-sided tape, whatever you want. Come on, glue. Oh, got a clog, hold on. All right, unclogged, putting some glue on. I don't have to go crazy with the glue, but you know, coat as much as you can. So I did that. And I'm gonna put it on, okay, flip this back over, line it up at the fold, and then fold over the, the glue flap. So this part's easy, you just glue everything on. And I'm gonna get my bone folder out just to make sure the glue spreads out everywhere like that. Okay, 
Now for the top part, the only part you want to glue or this big part of the flap and then the part that goes over the envelope. You want to leave unglued the tear strip and the part right above the tear strip. So when you when you um, tear this, this part just lifts up so the top of the envelope will be open. Okay, so let's add our glue to just the bottom. And if you watched my previous video, I neglected to do that, even though in Hannah's video, um, showing these products, she tells you not to glue that part. But did I remember? I sure didn't. Okay, so I'm going to put this, be careful to put it on straight so you don't smear it as you're, as you're gluing it on. So just line up the glue flap on the top with the edge of the envelope. And actually, make sure you have it filled before you do this too. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so before I put that, that part down over i'm going to add my card even though i didn't write it out yet so this is just kind of for show but let's add our card and then seal it actually we could even test it out now that i know i'm not going to be using this because um, i didn't write the card out or anything so this is just a demo envelope again <laughs> But that's it. That's all that you have to do. Now you can totally go crazy and embellish this too. But if you want to mail it, um, just leave it like that. If you want to mail it, you know, in the uh, postal mail. So I think it's pretty thin. I would weigh it on your scale to make sure it's not over an ounce if you just want to use a stamp. But I would probably put two stamps on this just because I usually do that. I'm kind of um, funny about that you could take it to the post office and ask them how many stamps it would be but for me I'll just add two so I don't have to go to the post office all right so that is done as you can see it looks super cute let's go ahead and tear this off and see what happens okay so I got this in the mail la 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 oh there's some arrows there and if you wanted to you can embellish those arrows with um, you know a gel pen or some way to just kind of emphasize the arrows let me get out this is a Nouveau Aqua Shimmer Pen. And hold on. Whoops, it's coming apart. Okay, so I'm just going to put that on the arrows just to kind of highlight them. I don't know if that'll really, yeah, that does help. Okay. So, yeah, do whatever you want to emphasize those arrows. I don't really know if you need to. I mean, everybody knows what a tear strip looks like, right? Okay, so this part is not sticking. This part is, and this part is. So I am going to pretend I'm the recipient and try and open this envelope. So hopefully I'm not disappointed. Okay. All right. It's starting to tear pretty good. There's a little part there that didn't. But yeah, hey, that worked fine. And then you open it and there's... Look, somebody sent me a card. Oh, how nice. <laughs> so that is how you make a uh, envelope with the envelope builder die set, and it'll fit an A2 size card. Someone else, I forget who it was, I am sorry, but another commenter said this would be great to send pictures in. You know, if you have um, pictures of your kids that you give out for holiday gifts, it would be great to make these for that for, you know, anything, anything that you want to send that's kind of flat and you can customize this to any length you want. Again, this was the five inch one and there's a four inch one available as well. I will link this down below, this die set. I hope that answers some questions, makes you feel better about the tear strip. Remember, fold it a bunch of times before you glue it on and use thinner paper when you do that. So that's it for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any other questions or um, ideas for tutorials, I would love to hear them. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back soon with more crafty videos. Take care everyone. Bye-bye.